This is a brake barrel, single shot pellet rifle. But remember, this is shooting a 25 caliber pellet with a lot of mass. This has substantial power. It comes with this scope. The front sight is a true glow sight. It's got an adjustable rear sight, has an adjustable trigger. It has a beautiful walnut stock, All right? So genuine wood stock, rubber pad here. This rifle, without the scope, it weighs around eight pounds. Okay, let's go over the loading procedure for this rifle. Step one, break the barrel. Now, a lot of people hit the barrel. I actually just break it on my leg like this. Okay, now, grip the rifle here. Brace it against your leg. And in one smooth motion, cock the rifle like this. Make sure it's fully cocked or it's going to, uh, it would spring back if it's not fully cocked, right? So now there's no longer tension on this barrel. It's fully cocked. All right, let me show you the pellets we're going to use. So we're going to be shooting H&N Barracuda Green domed pellets. Okay, that is the breech. You take your pellet head first, insert it in the breech. After that, you are going to straighten your barrel. Okay, now, you're going to have to click the safety off because it has an automatic safety. Press that in, right, and take these off. This rifle is now ready to fire. Okay, now that it's ready to shoot, we might as well do the spam test. Now, the meat inside here is going to represent a small animal. And then, you know, the tin, that's just going to add a little bit more resistance. Okay, down there we have our tin of spam. Okay, let's check out what it did. Okay, I took off the label so you could see. So bam, we hit in the center and it blew out the back. This completely blew right out. Okay, so here went straight through and blew out the back. And that is the, the exit wound. All right, so clean through. This thing will go clean through a, uh, a rabbit or a squirrel, something like that. No problem, this, uh, this can take small game, no problem. Okay, I got the same spam can set up and I'm going to shoot from about 50 or 60 feet away, right? Just in case you're wondering, what about a longer distance? Does it still have a lot of power? Okay, so I'm gonna go try this now. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> it's bleeding. The spam is bleeding. Okay, so this was our shot right there. And then it went uh, through right there. Hold on, let me give you a better shot of this. Okay, so if you remember, our first shot was right there at close range. This is our second shot, which is taken at 50 or 60 feet, right? It went in through there. And it blew out the back right there. Okay, so... Yeah, boom, and then it blew out the back. So completely through, once again. Okay, so what does this tell me? If you had a rabbit at like 50 feet, and the rabbit was wearing a little bit of body armor, it's gonna blow right through the rabbit. You have their springers, their spring pistons, and you have their gas piston models. All of the gas piston models are called Vortex. Now this is a springer. But I chose a Springer here because the Vortex model was significantly more expensive, you know. I chose the Springer because of the price. However, if the Vortex model goes on sale, uh, you know, go ahead and get it. If it's only a little bit more than the Springer, go ahead and get it. You know, at the time that I purchased this, 
this was significantly less expensive than the Vortex. The price on this was about $160. That is a great deal, okay? It's not the least expensive 25 caliber, but it is the least expensive 25 caliber that I've been able to find that has a genuine wood stock, okay? So why is a wood stock desirable? Aside from that, it looks awesome. Well, if this had a synthetic stock, the balance would be different. I like a balanced rifle. So when you have a supporting arm in this position, the more barrel heavy your rifle is, the more fatigue will hit your uh, supporting arm. One thing you gotta be careful of, make sure your scope is really tightened down on there. Because if it's not, your scope's gonna move all over the place from that recoil, okay? I tighten this right before uh, going. You just need a screwdriver. Okay, now what about longer ranges? Well, this certainly can reach out and touch. Now, me personally, like I said, I shoot in these woods, so I don't have the opportunity to take like a, a you know, a hundred yard shot because we just, the engagement ranges are close. And when I'm basically defending my backyard from critters, it, it's, it's super close. And uh, I can say, you know, this thing is death. This thing is the grim reaper at those close ranges. If you zero in this the scope, you know, you're not gonna miss at those ranges. Okay, YouTube, we got some fun. We got the head target, the styrofoam head. Now that's a lot bigger target than the spam can, but uh, with the spam can, I was using a shooting rest on another tripod. I'm going to do this freestanding because that's a bigger target. Sorry for the glare, real world conditions. I'm gonna be shooting from the shadows. All right, YouTube, we, we got him. Okay, YouTube, I'm gonna take another shot. I'll see you when I get over there. Okay, so I got my can of beef stew. Let's try to hit this at, uh, it's about 60 feet. That's, uh, this foot right here. See you over there. All right, I set it up one more time. Well, wow, once again, almost in that same spot. Okay. Let's do, uh, let's do one more. There. I'll go like this. Yeah, so some thoughts on this rifle. You know, the, the, the free scope that it comes with, a lot of people have pointed out that these free scopes, you know, they're not going to be the best. You know, that, that might be true at longer ranges, but this is fairly close range. This is where I shoot, these woods right here. The engagement ranges are going to be short range just because there's not a lot of open spaces here. So this is not a conspiracy. This is actually where I would be using the rifle, right? So for these distances, like 50, 60 feet, the scope worked fine. Where this really shines is the price. Like I said, the least expensive 25 caliber that has a genuine wood stock giving more balance and attractive appearance. It's mainly a hunting, a hunting rifle. The caliber, the accuracy for preppers, this is definitely an ammo saving item it'll save you real ammo but uh for defending the backyard which is like what half the people that i get questions from they're just defending their backyard from some uh, unwanted varmint oh yeah at backyard distances forget about it this thing is death it's it's deadly accurate it'll go right through a small critter now for longer range you know you might need a different you might need to upgrade the scope all right well i hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative if you like air guns, you definitely want to subscribe to me. Be, a, be aware, I also cover knives, swords, and things like that, okay? So don't be shocked if you see knives and multi-tools in your feed. Hey, get into it, man. Basically, outdoor stuff. Now, if you're wondering, hey, it's 95 degrees. Why the heck aren't you wearing shorts and a t-shirt? We got so many ticks and mosquitoes in these woods, it's dangerous to have 
a lot of uncovered skin. In fact, I should get my, my, uh, my head net on soon, definitely, as I hike out of here. But I hope you're all doing well these days. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Air Guns. Consider subscribing, consider super thanks. I'm going to put a lot of useful gear links underneath this video for your convenience. Check those out. I'm out.